Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with more from this Bob's collection. Uh, I went through a lot of it because a lot of it was, you know, just straight up junk wax. And I got to this, and I started to look through them, and I, and I thought it was just, oh, a bunch of 1986 Donruss. Uh, then I noticed that they are the Leaf set. So it's the Canadian set, which is only 264 cards, I think, so much smaller than the American version. Uh, this is made for Canada. And it, I know it, it's not, it doesn't include um, the Jose Canseco rookie, which is like the big rookie card out of this, but I know it does have Fred McGriff rated rookie and Andres Galarraga rated rookie. I don't know if it has the Paul O'Neill rated rookie in there or not. Uh, and, I, and I know it does have Ryan Sandberg, uh, Sean Dunstan, and Nolan Ryan. So I don't know if it's in here or not, but as soon as I looked, looked, started looking through it, I noticed it's like, it's not a full set. It's like duplicates of each card, like multiple duplicates. So I didn't look through any more. Like, look how many of these Walt uh, Terrell cards there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. So I'm curious as to what is going to be included in here. And that's card number 123. This Rick Sutcliffe is 122. So maybe they're in a somewhat of an order, but I didn't look through them because I thought I'd share it with all you guys. <laughs> look at all those Bob Horners. Just so, so many of all of these things. So um, let's go through this together and see what's in here and what's not. There are Fred Lynn cards. So, oh, there's a single Cal Ripken Jr. I just don't know what to make of this. Um, and they're in, not really in order here. Ozzie Kian. <laughs> lots and lots of them. Terry Pendleton. So, all of these. Um, don't know what to expect really from this. So I guess we'll just keep going through them. Um, let's see what we can find. This box next to this has a bunch of big, the, the, the giant cards. So I think I'll do that in a future video. There's some more Fred Lens. Um, but this appears to be like, and these are all in like pristine mint condition. So I don't know where these came from. There's Steve Carlton, just one of them. Vince Coleman, which is his rookie. Three Vince Coleman rookies. Uh, I don't know where these came from or how these got in this order, or this condition. Dennis Eckersley. Because they can't be pulled from packs like this because it's, all again, all the same players, multiple versions of them. But it's also like it's not exactly a set break like that. So I don't have any clue how this would have come to be. Lots of Glenn Hubbards. Here, Paul Molitor. Lots of Paul Molitors. Lots and lots of Paul Molitors. Kirby Puckett, this is a second year card for him. So that's a great card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Kirby Puckets. This is just so odd. Kent Herbeck. Lots of those. Berlin Hernandez. All right. Got some Keith Hernandez, Dave Winfield, three, four, five, six. There's Ozzie Smith, Mike Schmidt, four, five. Pete, there's Pete Rose. Oh, there's Ryan Sandberg. There's Rhino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the old PC. So there's those. Get all these together. Don't want to miss any. And I, and I don't know if it does it continue on to this one too. Yeah, it looks like it does. So there's Alan Trammell. Lots and lots of those. Lots and lots of those. Storm Davis. I just I don't even know how this would come to be. Steve Balboni. There's Dale Murphy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lee Smith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, and also, like, they're not consistent in the numbers either. One, Gary Carter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our star pile is almost half as big as our regular pile here, too. More C. Pavoni, Tim Wallach. More Ken Herbeck. We had a lot of those before. Lots of Edwin here, Chet Lemon, Dave Parker, John Tudor, Gary Pettis. There's an Eddie Murray. I don't know what 
this is. An 88 baseball checklist. <laughs> so that's strange. At the bottom there. More, more, more. Bill Buckner coming off his infamous season there. We're heading into his infamous season. Danny Darwin, Jeff Leonard. Let's see. A little, some gritty dirt or something in here too. But the other thing is, I don't know what to do with these. I mean, I can certainly just pull out the stars and do what I normally do with them, but there might be some, there's Tim Raines, some better way to put these collections together. Or maybe somebody would be interested in, or maybe it's gonna, maybe there will be literally seven full sets here. That's possible. I suppose I could try to put them in the actual sets. Why don't you guys tell me what you think I should do? If you had this in your possession, what I'm looking at right now, what would you do? There's Don, Don Mattingly with his no mustache. One, two, just two of those. Maybe there'll be more later on. I mean, if there are only two of those, then that tells me there's probably not more than two whole sets. All right, so it does have full Diamond Kings. Let's just see one, two. I kind of want to put the Diamond Kings aside. There's a Harold Baines. I wonder if it's the whole Diamond King set in here. Let's put those aside and maybe we can make a whole Diamond King set, even if we can't make a full complete set. And I don't know if people are into Leaf as much as they are Donruss, or if it's more desirable or less. There's Kirk Gibson. Diamond Kings. Uh, I also I think that the, whoever they have Diamond Kings of, a lot of these Kirk Gibsons, they did not put their regular card in here. So if you were one of the 20 Diamond Kings, look at that, Sean Dunstan. Now I actually have this in my personal collection already, just one, but now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six of them for the PC. So if you were one of the 20 Diamond Kings, then you do not get a regular issue card in this set. It's funny that they wanted to keep the numbers down like that. You'll see a lot of Expos players, a lot of Blue Jays players in here. A lot more, a lot of teams that have, uh, are close to the border. There's Jim Rice, two, just two of those. Rich Gedman. Yeah, I'll have to think about what I want to do with these. Mickey Hatcher. So many. There's, so we had a Cal Ripken Jr. before, now you got another one. Now they're a handful. So it could be that they're just spread out a little bit. Oh, look at that. There's the Nolan Ryan. So that's awesome. Daryl Strawberry. Three of those. Dwight Evans. So we'll keep an eye on it, Nolan Ryan. If there's only one of them, then the most we could have is one set. In that case, I would just break up, I would just not put the set together because I definitely want that Nolan Ryan for my PC. If I had two, I might be willing to look at a set here. Holy cow, just so many of these players. I'm going pretty quick because I want to get through all of these with you guys. So we can kind of try to make heads or tails of this. There's three more Jim Rice. We had a handful before. All right, on to the second stack here. So there are more Diamond Kings. Lots of Tony Armas, George Bell. Lots of George Bell, William McGee. one Goop, William McGee, there's Goose Gossage. So this is a year early for Barry Bonds, so you won't have Barry Bonds in here on the Pirates. Missing the Jose Canseco, which is surprising because that was the that's the big card of the set for Donruss. Don't we pursue her? We'll pull him out as a Hall of Famer. Terry Francona with a donut on his bat. That's super funny. 
But in just about every way, these cards are identical to the Donruss release. Um, you know, they, obviously, they say leave at the top. They have French, Canadian uh, translations on the back, and they're numbered differently because there are only 264 cards in the set. Lots of Ben Ogilvy's there. Alright, so more Diamond Kings. I'm trying to get all the dirt off. There's like weird dirt on these. More Diamond Kings. And funny, they still say Donruss at the top here. So there are the Andre Dawson's. They don't say Leaf Diamond Kings. They say Donruss Diamond Kings. God, I think we have at least a couple full Diamond King sets here. There's George Brett in his grumpiest card. Tony Gwynn. Some more Diamond Kings with singles. Oh, look, we're in a, a random 1985 Tops OPG. Larry Herndon. Very strange. We get the, the Necro Brothers here, Knuckle Brothers. More Tom Hankey. We have lots of Tom Hankey in this. Jorge Orta, Don Carmen, Jorge Orta, Ivan Calderon, Oop. Neil Heaton. I really got to think that we've got a full set in here. But like I said, if there's only one Nolan Ryan, that means only one full set. And I haven't seen any rated rookies yet, I don't think, including the two bigger ones. The biggest being Fred McGriff, second being Andres Galarraga. All right, so this is a special Canadian greats, Jeff Reardon. These were not in the Donruss set. And I think there's one more, too, of another player. So we'll keep our eye out for that one. Soon. Foots. Well, they are pretty well organized, these cards. And like I said, just in excellent condition. These are all, like... Mint. Mint, mint condition, for sure. Just has some dust mixed in every once in a while. I wonder where this person came across all these things. There's Fleet Feet with Vince Coleman and William McGee. Plenty of those. Glenn Davis, Brian, Brian Smith. I'm waiting to come across the cache of Nolan Ryan's where we can prove we've got multiple sets in here. Dirt and Canada, Wade Boggs, just one. Yeah, some of these stars we only have just a single card of. Adds more mystery to how this collection came together for sure. Unless they just came across a bunch of sets. Alright, so we got some rated rookies here and broke up those sets and took out a lot of the stars out, but then left one for some reason. Gritty dirt out. Tony Fernandez, they got a second year card for him? Third year. P. 
Pete Rose tie breaking card. Look at that hair on Andy Hawkins. There's Ted Huera. Big Al, let me know. This could be coming your way. Put that aside. We got some st stuck over on the side here. So, more Wade Boggs. So, here are all the extra Wade Boggs. There's Ted Simmons, multiple ones of those. Carlson Fisk. Slot you can handle. Dave Rose Rosina. More Pete Rose. Lots of those. Dan Quisenberry. Alright, some more Diamond Kings here. Beat. Still haven't seen either of those big rated rookies, which again would be the telltale sign of some more Diamond Kings. Lots of Diamond Kings. Tony Fernandez. I think, like I said, there's supposed to be two Canadian greats. So there's Don, there's the Andres Galarraga. So we have at least one of those. Dwight Gooden, Diamond Kings. Oh, there's the other, Jesse Barfield is the other Canadian greats. There's Dwight Gooden, Jerry Koosman. All right, so, oh, and there's the Fred McGriff. Two, another, and more Andres Galarraga. All right, but still, no one Ryan. Is the, the limiting factor here. There's Jack Norris. Oil can Boyd. Look at that. I was just talking to some folks at the Red Sox the other day who, who knew him or know him. And he goes by Can. Like, they ask, he asked people to call him Can. Which is <laughs> awesome and amazing. It's Robin Yount. Another Jerry Kuzman Diamond King. All right, so the question is, do we find more Nolan Ryan or do we have just the potential to have one set? I'm kind of hoping that we only have potential for one set because that makes it easy to decide what to do next. There's Reggie Jackson, which we haven't seen yet. Just one of those. Although it'd be kind of cool to have nine sets here too. Lots of Reggie Jackson there. Yep, so Nolan Ryan's still the limiting factor. Two more Fred McGriff, three more Fred, Fred McGriff, so that's great. All right, two more handfuls, I'll do it. All right, so we got some more Diamond Kings here. How many Diamond Kings could we possibly have? I think there are 20 total in the set. So we've got to have multiple sets of Diamond Kings, I would think. Even if we don't have full, complete sets for the whole set. And the last handful. Come on, multiple Nolan Ryans. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. John Sutton, another Hall of Fame pitcher. Mike Scott, who is a teammate of Nolan Ryan's, but oh, Tom Seavers, but no more Nolan Ryan's. So at best, we have one complete set here, which I would break up to keep this Nolan Ryan out. Um, but I definitely have a lot of Diamond Kings. I got a bunch of rated rookies. I mean, like this is just a fascinating little collection, if you ask me. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these. I'll see you next time.